warm greetings from english flight academy let your dreams take flight at this very place dear learners of english jo new viewers hain wo subscribe kare hamare channel english flight academy ko aur bell icon ko hit kare taki aapko sare newly uploaded videos ki update mil sake like kare agar aap samajhte hain ki ye like karne ke qabil hai and uh, do share it with your members of the family and friends so that they learn english thoroughly before you begin learning simple compound and complex sentences you need to understand phrases and clauses सारे सेंटेंसेस जो होते हैं वो कॉम्बिनेशन होते हैं फ्रेजेस क्लॉजेस के तो फ्रेजेस और क्लॉजेस का जानना आपके लिए बहुत बहुत जरूरी है सो इन दिस वीडियो आई डील विथ फ्रेजेस एंड देयर काइंड्स। लेट्स लर्न फ्रेजेस फर्स्ट अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट मेक्स सेंस बट नॉट कंप्लीट सेंस इज कॉल्ड अ फ्रेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ड्यू टू पावर्टी पावर्टी की वजह से इन उर्दू दैट्स द ट्रांसलेशन इन द कॉर्नर कोने में आफ्टर एन आर एक घंटे बाद विथ माई मदर मेरी मदर के साथ लुक एट द पार्शल मीनिंग ऑफ दोज वर्ड्स ओके द ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट मेक सेंस बट नॉट कंप्लीट सेंस कहीं पर भी आप वहां पर वर्ब नहीं देखेंगे जस्ट ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स हैं, सेंस कर रहे हैं लेकिन कंप्लीट सेंस नहीं है ओके सो दैट्स व्हाट अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट मेक सेंस बट नॉट कंप्लीट सेंस इज कॉल्ड अ फ्रेज सो लेट्स यूज दोज ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स those are phrases right phrases in a sentence and see how they work in the following sentences the group of words in italics are phrases she could not complete her education due to poverty due to poverty is a group of words and it's a phrase the cupboard is in the corner the cupboard is in the corner in the corner is a group of words and it's a phrase I'll submit my notes after an hour. After an hour is a phrase because it's a group of words, it's making sense but not complete sense. My younger brother is with my mother. Okay? With my mother is again a phrase, group of words which makes sense but not complete sense. Please understand that. Okay? So it's also a part of a sentence. Now when we see these sentences, they are making complete sense but when we take those group of words then they are called as phrases they do make sense but they do not make complete sense my dear students today we'll be learning phrases and their kinds there are three different kinds of phrases based on different parts of speech पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच का समझना बहुत जरूरी है नाउन क्या है एडजेक्टिव क्या है एडवर्ब क्या है इस पर मैंने एक वीडियो बनाया है अगर आप वो देख लें तो आपको और अच्छी तरह से फ्रेजेस का लेसन समझ में आ जाएगा सो द फर्स्ट वन इज नाउन फ्रेज सेकंड इज एडजेक्टिव फ्रेज एंड द थर्ड वन इज एडवर्ब फ्रेज लेट्स फर्स्ट नो वॉट अ नाउन फ्रेज इज A noun phrase is a group of words that does the work of a noun. For example, the boy wants something. Something is a noun there. The boy wants to go home. To go home acts as the object of the verb wants. Thus it does the work of a noun. So it's called as a noun phrase. Look at the other example there. Swimming across the river delights me. So swimming across the river acts as the subject of the verb delight. Thus it does the work of a noun and that's the reason it's called as a noun phrase. 
So the second kind is adjective phrase. An adjective phrase is a group of words that does the work of an adjective. What's an adjective? Adjective describes nouns or pronouns. So the doctor was a kind man. In that example, what is that kind doing there? It's describing the man. That's the reason it's an adjective. Okay, describing words are called as adjective. The doctor was a man with a kindly nature. So with a kindly nature is a group of words that does the work of an adjective. That's the reason it's called as an adjective phrase. I hope it's very clear. If you notice, it's very, very easy to understand. But if you don't focus on that, then it's very difficult to understand. One more example of an adjective phrase. She was wearing a golden chain. Golden is an adjective there because it's describing the chain, which is a noun. So golden is an adjective. Describing words are called as adjectives. She was wearing a chain made of gold. Made of gold is a group of words. What are they doing there? They're working as an adjective. Okay, that's the reason it's called as an adjective phrase. What's an adverb phrase? An adverb phrase is a group of words that does the work of an adverb. Very simple to understand. Seema ran quickly. Seema ran with great speed. See, quickly is describing how she ran. So that quickly is an adverb, but with great speed is a group of words that does the work of an adverb. So it's an adverb phrase. Look at one more example uh, of adverb phrase. They answered rudely. So rudely is an adverb there because how did they answer? They answered rudely. So what does an adverb do? An adverb modifies the verb. So rudely is modifying or adding some meaning to the verb there. How did they answer? Rudely. Rudely is an adverb. They answered in a rude manner. In a rude manner is a group of words that does the work of an adverb. That's the reason it's called as an adverb phrase. Let's begin. Let's talk session. Say it out loud over here. Try to understand how the phrases are used here as an answer. Where were you? At a party. It is just a group of words, but it's conveying a partial meaning, not the complete meaning. It's making sense, but not complete sense. Where were you? At a party. Where were you? At a party. What does she want? Medical advice. What does she want? Medical advice. You could even answer it completely, right? She wants medical advice. But you are not answering completely. You are just answering partially. So you are using the phrase there. So most of the time in our speech we use phrases. Why did the principal punish the boy? For his disobedience. Why did the principal punish the boy? For his disobedience. Who is Sachin Tendulkar? A professional cricketer. Who is Sachin Tendulkar? A professional cricketer. Say it out loud and also try to form own sentences using these phrases. I am going to form few sentences to show how these phrases are used in a sentence. Looking at just that phrase, you can form a sentence. In a beautiful style is the phrase there. The princess entered the hall in a beautiful style. On the top of the hill. The house on the top of the hill is built with an architectural style. With a smile. My teacher always enters the class with a smile. In a loud voice. The manager often speaks in a loud voice. At the 11th hour, she does all her work at the 11th hour. In future, it can be done in future. At 9 o'clock, I'll reach the school at 9 o'clock tomorrow. To 
win a prize to win a prize is my ambition so i made few sentences you can make as many as you want taking these phrases and try to make as many as you want and say it out loud while you make these sentences taking different uh, subjects and different kinds of sentences can be made so that you understand how the phrases are used in sentences my dear students to become perfect in any topic taught you need to practice a lot practice alone makes the man perfect so i request you all to practice the given worksheets in the description box and also you can practice from the net many number of quizzes are there you can solve them and you can definitely attempt them and you can become perfect in the topics taught here new viewers subscribe kare hamare channel english flight academy ko यहाँ पे कॉम्प्लेक्स ग्रामर टॉपिक्स को हमने समझाने की कोशिश की है हिंदी और उर्दू में समझाने की कोशिश की है आई होप ऑल द टॉपिक्स आर वेरी क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट डू राइट इट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड डू आस्क आई डेफिनेटली रिप्लाई ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन विच यू आर गोइंग टू आस्क हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफाइड ऑफ ऑल द न्यूली अपलोडेड वीडियोज इन दिस ग्रामर सीरीज Click the like button to motivate me to make more number of videos. Share the video with the members of the family and friends. Let them strengthen their basics of English thoroughly. See you next week. Until then, happy learning. Take care of yourself.